Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Sunday, August 16th, 2020. The tarot card for today is none other than the death card to round out our week, and it's our sixth major arcana card in a row, okay? This is from the Divine Diversity Tarot, beautiful deck by comic artist Joe Phillips, and he is thinking of reprinting it, so if he does, I will keep you posted because this is a deck worth owning. Really just fantastic all the way around. Anyway, I am rambling here. We have not seen the death card since April 20th. That's a really long time. If you are new here, then I'm just going to tell you straight up, this is not a card to be feared. This is one of my favorite cards, okay? Those who have been with me for a while know this. All right, there is it's something signaling here that you are just done, okay? You know, like, so much has happened. Maybe you're done with 2020. Maybe you're done with the situations which it has created. And quite a bit has happened, even in just the last two weeks, since we had the full moon, which was in Aquarius. Right now, the moon is at home in Cancer, preparing to be a new moon on the 18th in the sign of Leo. This to me will be one of the best new moons of the year. And I urge you to go read about it on my calendar of planetary events, which is on my website, tarotbycecilia.com. You can save the calendar to your phone as a shortcut and access it on a daily basis to keep up with what's going on. There are some really wonderful aspects around this new moon, and I honestly feel that, uh, how can I put it? Did you ever, were you ever in a dark room, okay, and the door wasn't quite closed, and then a light came on somewhere out in the hallway or whatever, but it got your attention. You could see that light through the crack, and you're wondering what's going on, wondering what's coming next. And that gives me the chills just to say that to you, okay? That's what this is like. It's like the door is cracking open, but you're done. You're done with being in the dark about everything. You're done with situations that are taking place in your life. It's time for them to be dead and buried. And what better way than to close a door and to open a new one there is something that's coming now it is part of a, a, a journey i don't think that you open the door and immediately find it some of you may but as that door begins to crack open it is definitely leading you somewhere those who follow me on patreon and in my members only area they know when i talk long term the things that are happening you know between now and let's say the end of the year, beginning of next year, there's still a great deal of transformation taking place, which is what this card represents. You need a moment when life can begin to transform, and that's not always an instantaneous thing. Yes, Uranus did just retrograde yesterday, and it is a little weaker now in its retrograde state. This may play a part in situations that you're choosing to close out in your life okay so maybe you weren't even thinking about it and then all of a sudden with Uranus you're like okay yeah I need to end that relationship I need to move on from here it's time to go there's definitely and this is not signaling that it's one day that it's just today this is about your life and where it is headed and I'm going to say something here that I haven't said anywhere else the end of January, when we complete the cycle from the new moon that's coming up to the full moon, which will happen in Leo on January 28th. Okay, this is right in this six months where your opportunity lies to create this trans transformation. And I think when you get to January 28th, you're going to see some things are very, very different. And remember, you heard it here first. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.